Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young with Hearing Solutions Centers, and today we're going to talk about the Resound Quattro, coming right up. What is this Resound Quattro? What is even Resound? Well, if you look them up, you're going to see a company called GN Resound. And I want to share with you this unique type of technology. And I want to show you a couple things that happen. Now, if you hate batteries, I kind of like them, kind of don't, depends on the situation. But uh, if you hate batteries, if you want to be able to hear better in noisy situations, that's one of the things that this does. But firstly, I want to show you a few of the features that come out. We're going to show you about the battery part. So I'm going to kind of come up a little closer and you should be able to see this. And what that is, is a charger. Now on the back of it, there is a charging port, just exactly like an Android type of uh, uh, micro uh, USB there. And so, but what's, what's kind of cool about this, and I'm going to show you in a second, because I'm going to do it backward here. When I put my hearing aid in to charge, it'll show you how much of a charge is happening. So it's at two little dots. You, we haven't even plugged this in for a long time. I mean, the, the, the box itself. Therefore, you can have this going, uh, you know, maybe five or six days before you have to do it. So if you're gonna go on a short trip, unplug the thing, go, go take it with you. Now on the other side of it, you're gonna see five bars. Now I've had my, oh, let me do it again here. I've had my hearing aids in since um, 8 a.m. ish and uh, I think it's about 11.30 right now um, and, and we still have five bars. Um, I've gone from 6 in the morning to 1 in the morning, the, I mean that next morning, and still only been down to two bars. And what's cool about this is this is the right one. There's a little bit of a magnet that holds it in there. Okay? But what's even cooler is I can shove the left one and the right one and it still charges. Now there's a little tiny light that's right on the end of the hearing aid that you can kind of see that it's still going. Um, if you can't see that, trust me, it is there. Um, now what it will not do is this. If it's in this direction, it's not going to charge. So if it's sticking out like that, you got a problem. Now, the secondary thing that it does, I'm going to put it in the wrong area even though it, it still will go. I can shut it right up and it's actually putting a little bit of heat and moisture to kind of get all the stuff out of there. So that's one of the coolest features. So along with that, that kind of situation that we see, um, we have, you know, and again, it's pretty easy to put in. If you notice mine were red, I do that on purpose because, I, let me show you again, mine are a red color so that you can kind of see that. I want to show you, it's, it's not that big a deal to have red, blue, purple, whatever the heck it is. Uh, so there are different ways that you can um, live your life and, and not have to worry about that. Now, this also has a moisture control in, inside of it. And so when you have um, issues of moisture, we do have that because people sweat. So um, I didn't believe this, the manufacturers when they say things. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. I disbelieve it because I want to have to. I want to see it myself. So I took my hearing aids out and I would work out with them. And I mean, I sweat profusely. And I'd go even go play basketball and listen to my my phone. And I'll show you a little bit about that in just a second. The streaming ability. And take them out I mean I take them out at night and wipe them off and you know kind of get the junk off of there but it, it still worked I had a patient that called me up she goes my husband just just went off he was in the shower and went to work and I'm so worried about his hearing aids are suddenly working she goes well he, he dried them off and I just don't know if they're gonna work I said are they working she goes do we need to come in for appointment and I said just tell me are they working she said well yeah I said, don't worry about it that's, that's the reality that happens with these. Now, can you get moisture? Oh, of course you can get some moisture. You can kill a hearing aid. But this is the key element. See, most people think, well, maybe I should just order these kinds of things online. You see, if you could figure that out from the manufacturer and you, so you're over here and the manufacturer's here, if you could figure out all the prescriptive points, all the things that we need to do, the 115 separate adjustments, 
You could do that. No, these cameras, I mean, the, the camera, the lights, all, all are from Amazon. There, over there is a TV, it's a TLC TV. I bought that at Costco. Do I have a problem buying things at, on, online? I have no problem whatsoever. But you have to be careful about what you purchase online. Is it, does it, is it custom made for you? And that's what the Resound Quattro really needs to be done correctly. That's why you, the patient, need to see me and then let me take care of the manufacturer. Because customer service has to be really good here. Now, I'm picky about that. I'm picky as all get out. Because in the past, I've had manufacturers screw it up. And so uh, I'll work with these people, and I feel like Resound has, has really jumped it up a level, especially about, about 2016. And we're filming this in 2019, so they've really made a good customer service. I, had, I was missing one of my, uh, my chargers, and I just said, hey, can you get me a new one of these? No problem. It, it's, it's always a whole bunch of new pro no problems kind of thing. And yet you want that relationship to happen so that I can take care of your needs. And that's the real way of doing the right stuff. The reality is people think that they can, they can buy directly from manufacturers and save themselves money. The answer is you don't. You'll have to spend a lot of extra money on the side just to get it working. And then if it really does work, which I'll be surprised if it did, it doesn't. It, it doesn't happen. So you have a lot of troubles in that area. So let's just get back to the Resound. I'm gonna show you a couple interesting features. Now inside of the, um, the, the iPhone, you have to put this inside of the native software. So I'm in accessibilities. I'm gonna arrow down and to see hearing aids and you can see Scott's hearing aids. And in Scott's hearing aids, let's move that a little bit more here. You'll see the right and left devices all around restaurant mode kind of thing. Let me kind of move it this way. Um, I could actually adjust it here and my, my left one and right one just flipped over into the restaurant mode. But I don't have to do that. So we have to set that up by Bluetooth. Now, the Android is coming out very quickly here, late in maybe fourth quarter, is gonna have that ability to stream all of this stuff together. Well, let's first show you the streaming abilities. So we're gonna look at one of my um, audiobooks. It's called Never Split the Difference, just an audiobook that happens. Now you're gonna see down below here, you might see it, but I'll just tell you, it says Scott's hearing it. But let's just show you exactly what happens when we look at that. You see where it says iPhone? or the phone itself, and it's Scott's hearing aids, I could check mark it and listen to that through the, 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 just the speaker system, or I could be in Scott's hearing aids, and I could adjust the volume of what, of it, what it's streaming. Now, I can hear it right inside my own hearing aids. But let's go over to the app, because this is the cool part. Now, it's first it's reading it out, and it says, where are the hearing aids? Oh, there they are. So let's look at, at, at the settings on the very bottom here. We have home, Status. What's cool about this is it hooks up to an iWatch, and I don't want to show you because the iWatch kind of gets a little funny here, but um, it's hard to, for you to see it. But you can actually see the iWatch settings, and I can adjust that. I could flip over to a different mode and change that depending upon what I ever, whatever I wanted to do. And we're back in the all-around mode. I could turn up the volume or turn it down just by the haptics. So that's a really kind of cool feature, but I can do that right through here. I'll tell you about why you might use that. But inside of here, you're going to see the battery life. And then if we move over here, one of the coolest mode points that happens is find my hearing aid. So we're gonna show you, we're at 71st in Sheridan, this in our new location here. And so we're able to film in this room, which helps me out so much. And so you can see exactly where we are. You can find out where the hearing aids are sitting. Now, how's that relevant? Let's show you, I'll give you an example. Um, I was, I was uh, listening to a patient's hearing aids and I, and I had set my hearing aids down. I'm checking them out thoroughly, trying to figure out what was going on. And uh, I'd forgotten to put them back on. So I meet one of my audiologists at, the, at a car dealership where she's you know, picking up something. 
And so I drove over there, <coughs> excuse me, and as I drove over there, I realized, well, where's my hearing is? Holy cow. I looked them up and they were right, they were right at the office. So I was like, Dr. Kathleen, would you go pick them up? She picks them up, brings them to me, and I found I was able to get them. It was be because we were able to see it in the app. Now, we can go further. I'll bring it up here a little bit again. You gotta kind of move that. You can request assistance. Now, I don't like to do this until we get you fully set up on, on the app. So we'll go in here and we can start and ask, it'll ask questions and it'll send me a full signal that, hey, you're, you're needing some help. It'll come out of this. Um, and then I can do everything. I had a guy from, uh, that was in Minnesota and then he was in, uh, I think, Philippines uh, on a missions trip. Well, he was able to send a signal and tell me that he needed help. Back into this other mode, I want to show you what I tend to do. So we can actually swipe over into the restaurant mode. I could swipe further into the TV mode, and I'll show you that one on another one, another video, what I tend to do all the time. It's a really kind of cool way that happens. But I can be in the, the all around mode. I can push noise, speech focus. I could flip over into the restaurant and be in the noise filter, speech focus. I could boost up the volume a little bit. Say, oh, that's a little too much. Maybe I don't need that much. And I can do all of that. Why? Now, first off, I've been doing this for 29 years. I've worn hearing aids for the last nine years because I have a mild to moderate hearing loss. But here's what I do. When I walk into a restaurant, I will set my phone down with the app up and I listen to the world. Give yourself about 15 seconds or so because the hearing aid's analyzing exactly what's going on in there. Then secondly, what you'll do is you'll swipe over into the restaurant mode. And you swipe over the restaurant mode, it'll go bing, bing. And then I know that what it sounds like. Now, if there's a little bit of noise, I might turn on my noise filter and say, hmm, that sounds okay, but I can't hear her. So I might pop it into the speech focus mode and say, oh gosh, I hear that much better but it might be just a little loud in that place and I can change that. Now, this kind of technology has been around for a while, but um, I'm gonna share with you, I had some difficulties with some of the manufacturers because they didn't sound as good for me, but the Rizan Quattro took it up another level. I think that, that's a big deal for my patients because I wanna test the stuff. I always download the latest software. I wanna mess things up. You want me to mess stuff up. And the manufacturer's like, what did you do? And you know, I'm checking stuff out inside of CarPlay, which we'll talk about that one. That's a cool feature as well. But there are so many little ways that we can make a difference for you. So we have the charging capability that can take out moisture. So you can just plop them in and it'll go for, I don't know, day and a half. I haven't ever really tested the exact time frame. I can go into the app and adjust things. I can talk on the phone, so I'm gonna leave, the, leave you with this. When I talk on the phone, I do a little scott mechanism. So there's my phone. I'll turn it upside down, hold it like this. So that's my way of, I'll, I'll pontificate and I'm thinking, okay, I'm talking to you, talking to my wife and I'm trying to figure out things. And I'm talking into the microphone that's on the, the bottom of your phone. So that's what I tend to do to help me be able to communicate. I think if you find that this is helpful, you guys, hey, would you subscribe? Check it out because we're gonna do a whole bunch of different hearing aids, different types, different ways to make a difference. We even have wireless CIC hearing aids. We can show you cool things that you haven't ever thought about before. So leave some comments. If you have any questions, we'll check them out. Thank you so much.